Adult Fibers, a crafting podcast. This is my mom, Brenda. This is my daughter, Rachel. Um, Our co-hosts today are Kirby and Abby, and Abby. as usual. Yes. Um, this is episode 58. Our social media will be down below, which will consist of my website, because I'm the diary behind Night All Fibers, our Instagram handles, and that's about it for now. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is Sunday, October 18th, 2020. Welcome back to all new and returning viewers. We are so delighted to have you join us. Mm-hmm. And we love interacting with you. Kirby needs a hug. Yeah. Um, we love interacting with all of you in comments. So if you have a comment, please comment below or a question. We don't do show notes. So no. if you have a question, please comment below and we will get back to you. Yep. Um, we have a spooky fun make along going on. Mm-hmm. And there is one more month, like we're part way through this month, so yeah. not even a full month. But it ends on October 31st, and after that we'll pick a winner. Yeah. Um, anything counts, so any craft, anything you're working on. Show us some carved pumpkins. Yeah, anything fun yeah. and Halloween-y, and the prize will be a... You get to pick something from my shop, and I will ship it out to you. And we have been enjoying it so far, getting to see everything. Yes. We're bad at responding, (laughs) but we heart, and we love it, and we are so excited to have you a part of this little community. Yes, absolutely. Um, If I happen to have not hearted your post, please DM it to me, because it might be because an account is private, and I always follow the account back once I get that DM with the spooky fun entry, Um, so go out there and create something spooky. Yeah, and my account now is private on Instagram, uh, just for the purpose of having to delete fake accounts uh, that are usually creepy men. Yeah. So I just made it private for a while that just kind of alleviates a lot of that in my life. So. Okay, grab something to drink. A pet to snuggle. And let Something. the crafting begin. Yes. Okay, I am drinking water today. Awesome. I am drinking some chamomile tea that I started to make and it kind of turned into a chamomile latte. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm enjoying it, so it's a thing. It's a thing. Yep. Okay, do we want to start with. <laughs> I was going to say finished objects. There it is. Okay. All stitched together. That works with me. Go okay. for it. I have two dishcloths. I know. Isn't it impressive? Kirby hates it when the yarn touches her head. I took, I love this cotton in this beautiful green color because green is my favorite color. Yep. And I cast on three stitches. I used bamboo straights. I think it was a size seven. And I, the beginning of each row, I did knit front and back, knit across turn, knit front and back, knit across until I had 45 stitches and then I began the decreases which was knit two together, knit across, turn, knit two together, knit across until I had three stitches left and then I bound off. I still have my ends to weave in. These are both the exact same size which is nice and I need to weigh what I have left because I might possibly have enough to do a third dishcloth which would make a nice little set. Uh, So that is my only all stitched together finished items. Okay, I have two. So could you help me hold it up? This is the Drifter by Tammy Gore. And so so you have this nice peach blush color, which is Bruised Peach by Lay Family Yarn. And then this deep burgundy, which adds really nice contrast to this pattern. And Which, definition. And definition. It is Spellbound by Mitchell's Creation. And to weave in. Yeah, I meant to do that before we podcast, but it didn't quite happen. So, this is oh, how I it like looks. That. So, it's not like you're swimming in it, it's really wearable. Yeah, I like that a lot. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. I made like the effort to complete it. <laughs> Yeah, I was like diligently working on it, trying to get it done. Yes. 
Very nice. And it's, I'm super excited to weave in the ends and block it. She just wants attention. She does. She just wants some love. Okay. So the other thing I finished were the Ron Weasley socks. And this is a Night Owl Fiber colorway. And I did toe up, heel flap, and gusset. And my increases for my heel flap are in the wrong spot. They should have been kind of going in this sort of a direction. And they fit. They work. It is perfectly fine. And then I did an eye of partridge heel. That looks so classy. I yeah. love that eye of partridge heel. And it was fun. It, I used the How I Roll sock pattern. And it gives you all the steps you need to do this and many, many other options. Options, which is great. Um, the first time I knit this pattern, I did the slip stitch heel, which is what I'm used to doing. Um, this is by no means more complicated. It's just a nice, fresh look, which yeah. I've enjoyed. This colorway won't be available until next year sometime. And. Let's see, that is all I have for All Stitched Together. Okay, did you want to say anything about your Harry Potter club? Yes. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to say it during when I talked about the next colorway that I have cast on, but I'll talk about it now. Okay. Um, so the Harry Potter club I have been doing for two years, and it's been a little bit of a stretch with my imagination right now, because in the movies and the books they wear the Hogwarts colors and uniforms so much, so to try to find something more unique about each character, it's completely doable, and I love the characters, but I'm getting kind of burnt out on it, so I will be re-releasing the colorways next year, but I won't be creating new ones. So you have this month's, which is Hermione Granger, mm -hmm. and then the next one's going to be Harry Potter. And then after that, I won't be creating new colorways. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to be restocking it and re-releasing them in a timely manner, but I'm definitely going to be starting up some other club colors that are not Harry Potter inspired. So She's got keep an lots eye out. of ideas. Yeah, rum rummaging through her mm -hmm. bullet journal that yeah. she's trying to. I'll always love Harry Potter and the books and the stories, but right now I just need like a creative break something new. Yeah, you, your creativity has been kind of challenged and stifled and you, yeah. need, to, you need to just kind of... Mm -hmm. But I do feel like everybody's really enjoyed the characters this year. Yeah, absolutely. So it's been fun. Um, so, ready to move on to Stitch by Stitch? I am. Yes. Okay. I had been right here on my opal socks and I don't remember what color number it is, but if you want to know, just ask. Uh, I finished the sock, and I put it on this sock blocker that has mm -hmm. the hummingbirds on it. Yeah. And I, mean, I absolutely love how the cuff is not getting all stretched out like when I put them on these types of sock blockers, because these get wider as you go up, mm -hmm. and it stretches them out. So I really like the sock blocker. Yeah. I did 65 rows for the leg after 15 rows of ribbing and I used light bulb stitch markers for the 10 rows and then I switched to a little lamb clover progress keeper for the 5 rows. I did my heel flap and gusset with the slip stitch heel and once I started on the or finished the heel or decreases, I always mark, and then I count 45 more rows, and I do my umbrella toe. So I have the second one cast mm. on. That's awesome. And I'm just slowly plugging away at this one, not putting any pressure on myself. Hopefully I will have it done um, by Halloween. Yeah, that would be nice. And yeah, I need to take pictures and get it in the spooky fun make along. Yep thread. I have been bad about that. I didn't even do the last ones that I did to put yeah, in there. But our entries don't count for prizes, so it's right. okay. We're sharing them here. So True, true. So, but It is fun to see everybody's posts by that, going in there and looking. It has been so much fun. Yeah. So if you have something to, to 
to share or if your child mm -hmm. carved a pumpkin or did a drawing or something at it. Yeah, it'll be a fun way to enter and yeah. the prize will be a skein from my shop and or if they want a bag. Or if they want a bag or anything else I have in my shop, it's your choice and then I'm happy to mail it out to you. Yes. Um, there's one prize winner that we'll have to pick yet and that won't happen until after October 31st. Yes. Okay, so right. I have a little bit of a spooky knit that I started and I forgot October 1st, October 4th was when we recorded last time and that was the day I remembered I had a Halloween advent but it wasn't like the 24 day advent thing, it was only 13 days to open and one of those being a full skein. Yes, so it's 12 minis and I intended to open it on the 1st and that didn't happen so I opened two days right away and then just enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, so my cast on is a Bits and Bobs blanket. The minis are from Cherry Pie Cottage and if you if bought you, it, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to see it because I know her technical knit along for it doesn't start until tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. And I didn't want the pressure of trying to knit all the minis within a certain, a certain time. I wanted to start before. Um, so here I'm going to hold it up. So this is the Bits and Bobs Blanket by Kay Jones. I am holding a sport weight and a fingering weight double, so I cast on less than what the pattern calls for. And it's working out to the same, to the same dimensions that she called for. This down here is the colorway This Is Halloween. And then up here it is zero. And then I just, if you can see the blue that's on the needles, that one is Sally. I love the look of that. Yeah, so I am putting 17 grams per color in the blanket. And so clearly the minis are indie dyed. But I am using Baby Bernat Sport for my sport weight yarn. And it's just an acrylic yarn, 300 grams. So I might need a little more to finish the blanket. I, I got you covered. I kind of did the math last night of, okay, if I'm getting two inches per 17 grams, and yeah. I, yeah. I got you covered. I bought a whole bunch of those when they were on sale and stuffed them in a closet. Yeah, so if you want to look, you can look again on the screen. I'm not holding the blanket up anymore. And I'm not doing Magic Knot because I had started a Bits and Bobs four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I was making really great progress on it four years ago <laughs> until one of my Magic Knots broke and it was like five rows down. So I tied that up. I kept working on it a tiny bit. And then I put the blanket away, and I didn't work on it for, for four years. years. <laughs> and I was going to just add these in to that blanket and make more progress. But I did not trust the magic knots, and that was the whole reason why I set it down in the first place. And I didn't want more beautiful yarn to go to waste, so I pulled it off the needles and cast this one on. So... You're not magic knotting. I'm not magic knotting. I'm going to be weaving in the ends. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, you just weave in as you go. It's only two to four ends at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. What needles are you using? Chow Goo Red Lace. And it's whatever size the pattern recommended. Um, the Red Lace help hold the weight of the blanket so you don't have yeah. this flimsy cord that's putting more weight on the join where the cord and the needle connect. So, Why don't you go next and show what you're making with the rest of the minis? Yep, yeah, because I'm only putting 17 grams in the blanket because I believe the socks are taking 3 grams. I technically knit the socks first. This is also the spooky fun. <laughs> not spooky fun. This is the Cherry Pie Cottage. Cherry Pie Cottage Nightmare Before Christmas Advent. So look away if you want to look away. So I did brown toes. And then down here you have This is Halloween. So you can see how it looks different from the blanket. Zero, which kind of does a pooly thing. So let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there so there's zero. And then there's the side where it's kind of micro striping. And then up here you have the colorway. Sally. Sally. There we go, it's in focus now. So I 
opened up the next two so that I have motivation to keep working on them because yeah. if I don't know what's coming next... You can look next, back now. Yeah, you can look back now. I'm not holding it up. <laughs> um, I like to know a little bit ahead of time what's coming so that I can... If I'm not super excited about the next mini, I open up the next one so that I get excited again. But and they've been lovely. They have been really great. They've been very pretty, I, very unique. I cake up the 20 gram mini and I pull from the inside and the outside to knit my two at a time socks. Mm -hmm. and Which has really become your method. Yeah, I'm sock enjoying knitting now. it and I'm going to continue to do the two at a time until I get bored with it or for some reason feel the need to do one at a time again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I have uh, in my Aggie, Aggie bags. I love this bag. It is so autonomal. I talked last time about uh, these socks, I think. It's the Woolen Women. And it is Pumpkin Spice Fingering 8020. It's and a fun colorway. It is so incredibly soft. And I have my um, little maple leaf stitch marker by Lock and Lou on here because it just matches so perfectly. goes perfectly with it. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm at 50 rows on the leg. I think I want to go to 65 to make them just a tad bit longer. And then I will just pop in my heel flap and gusset. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, heel turn, decrease, just a vanilla sock. Yeah, so. but it's fall and it's... Yeah. Nice and cheerful, but it's not it is. in your face. It's and it's or overly done. It's yeah. just really nice and pretty. It's just a beautiful gold with these browns in it. I can see yeah. that stitch marker better. And it's just oh, absolutely gorgeous. A gorgeous. Do you call it variegated? Let me see. Do you call it variegated? Yeah, I mean it's got like specks of brown, but then it's got longer chunks of brown. I would say yeah. variegated. It's, uh, it's so pretty. I'm really enjoying the feel of it. Uh, it's nice to have something super soft in my hands after working with some other more rustic yarns. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm using Addy Novel. Uh, just regular round Addies. Yeah, because you were Cause working my, with square Addies yeah, for your socks. These are socks. on the squared so these are the squared ones, and then this is just a round needle. I do notice a difference with the squared. It's it's less hand fatigue okay. than the regular round uh, needles. So yeah. it's nice to change it up. Yeah, it is. Nice I'm using uh, Knitter Pride Carbons on my Halloween socks. Yeah. So it's it's nice to change things up and, and use different techniques, different needles. Utilize the things you have. Yeah, but it's nice that there's variety. Yeah. You know, I, I love that about knitting. There's more than one way to do something. You mm -hmm. know, there's more, there's continental, there's English knitting. You, whatever works for you. Yeah. You can customize it. So, yeah. Okay. I have two more uh, things that I'm working on. Same here. Two more. Okay. Oh, Kirby, my foot is falling asleep <laughs> holding you up here, babe. Oh, oh there goes the big yeah. Okay. Okay, so I cast on a campsite cardigan by Alicia Plummer, and I swatched. The color is so, so beautiful. This is Quince and Co. I believe it's the Lark base. I know it's a worsted weight yarn. Um, 100% wool. 100% wool. The pattern's written for DK, but I've always made it work with worsted, and I know other knitters have too. So here is the back of the That's sweater. Beautiful. It is a top-down raglan. And there's just something special about a top-down yeah. raglan. So it'll have the ribbing band all the way down from the hem of it across the neck and all the way down to the other hem side. And I really haven't done that in a long time. It'll be nice to go back and knit yeah. a different style. Um, Plus the worsted weight goes quickly. Yeah, I mean I really do love the color and the stitch definition. This yarn was a Christmas present, uh, I think two years ago, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's really nice to work with it. 
It's 100% non-superwash, but it's got a really good feel to it. It does. It's wooly, but it is far from rustic. It's really nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, I love that color. Yeah. And you're going to just spit splice these yeah, together. It, since it's 100% non-superwash, it's yeah. feltable, and I won't have as many ends to weave in. Yeah. Which can be really nice on a sweater. It can. Um, so I'm excited to get to the eyelets. And... That is about all I have on that project right now. You were so anxious to start it. You showed the yarn last time on the podcast, and you were anxious to get it started. That's right, I did. Yeah. You didn't think you were going to start it that soon. No, I didn't, but I'm so glad I did. I did make myself work on the shawl, because I really wanted to get the shawl done. Yeah. Um, but then once I got that done, I was able to enjoy it so much more. A new cast on. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is all about charts because I have counter cross stitch and I have a sweater. Okay, let me put, this is the front where I have my steak panel. And I'll hold it's it up. looking great. I have all the color work done. I finished both charts last night. And as you notice, I have all of these little dangly stitch markers. Stitch markers for each repeat of the pattern. It'll look much better when I get it blocked. Yeah. Um, so we were watching the seventh game of the ACLS uh, yeah. baseball game last night between the Astros and the Tampa Ra Bay Rays. Rays. And it was such a good game. That yeah, the Rays really brought it. I had trouble concentrating. So I just thought, you know, I have all these nice wooden stitch markers. I'm going to put it after each pattern repeat of the chart and just yeah. so go with it. So you can read your work faster? Yes. Yes. And I don't have to count all the way back to the beginning to say, did I make a mistake and tink all the way back? Yeah. It worked great. I have, the reason I left them in is because I have four rows of regular net with the main color and then another round of increases. So I'm going to leave them in until all my increases are done and then remove all of them. Awesome. But I am so proud of myself. I was reading the chart and I was knitting English and Continental at the same time. And my tension is pretty good. I think my floats look yeah. floats look pretty good. They do. Um, so it's your first yeah. color work sweater. It is. And first time doing uh, Continental and English. So I am really proud of this. The yarn is Studio Donegal. And it is 100% wool and spun, so it's got a little bit of thick and thin going on. Yeah, but you're still getting a consistent gauge. I'm getting a consistent gauge, and I know that the color work will block out just beautifully. Yeah, that's it, the exciting part. It doesn't look real great now, but I know that it will block out and look really pretty. And yeah, so I'm really, really excited about this. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the dogs. Yeah. And the AC. We have a broken knob on our AC unit. We were afraid to turn it off for fear that we wouldn't get it to turn back on. So Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to mention one more thing. I am using these toggles that I got a whole big bunch of them on should, Amazon, really cheap. And I just pop them on my needles so that I don't lose any stitches. I should do that for this blanket so that yeah, I don't you lose any stitches on the blanket. You should. I've got them in the dining room spot so okay yeah that's my sweater progress which I'm really excited about okay my project fell down I'll be right back okay so magic of editing I picked up my knitting <laughs> we're back yep okay so I cast on the new Harry Potter color which is Hermione Granger and I don't have the full repeat knit up yet but I barely started it here is the yarn. So pretty. And I am doing these two at a time. So the yarn is caked up. And your the socks are cast on. I know she doesn't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have four of the eight color repeat knit up. And I'm really enjoying it. The colors look great. And now that you're done showing it, she's back on the bed. I know. <laughs> um, sorry if you had trouble seeing that. I hope I held it still enough. Um, but I'm really enjoying these. I uh, can't wait to show you more progress on them. 
the Hermione colorway is available now until the 15th of November. And yeah, I'm doing my basic toe up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a contrast heel or not. I might not because it's just simpler, less ends to weave in. But it does look really great. So, and I might do them with the toe up heel flap and gusset. But right now, I'm not following any pattern. I'm just doing my basic toe up. Okay, okie dokie. And I made a tiny bit of progress on my Drifter by Tammy Gore. Uh, the main color is Rusty Nails by Mitchell's Creations. And the blue is Forbidden Fe Beast by Forbidden. For Fantastic no. Beast by Forbidden Fiber Co. There you there go. There we go. Got it, finally. Uh, I didn't make a lot of progress on this because I was working on other things, and every time I picked it up to work on it, my phone would go off with a text message that needed to be something that was time sensitive, that needed to be taken care of, and it was just like, ugh, okay, yep. I'm just not meant to work on this this week. When life interferes with knitting. <sighs> I know. So, this is what I have done. And move my progress keeper. It's looking really good. Yeah. I'm anxious to get more work on it so I can wear it and mm -hmm. get it done. And yeah, really enjoying that. Enjoying the yarns very much. Okay. Alright. So that was it for me. How about you? I have two other projects that I've been working on. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, the cross stitch. Yes, I have counted cross stitch. And I'm housing it in this slim, beautiful rubber con or plastic container. Yeah, it's classy. It's so classy. I don't have any bags big enough for the snap uh, rings or the scroll frames. Yeah. Awesome. So I am doing two projects, and I am keeping the threads for the first one in this little. Um, needle keep, or thread, thread keeper. keeper. So I'm trying this out as a way to keep my threads organized. I don't know yeah. if I like it or not. Mm. So the first one I have in a snap frame and it was bought on Etsy by the Calico Confectionery.com and it is Harvest Blessings. Which was such an autonomous palette when you pulled all the threads and put them together. Oh I know, it was fun. So this is as far as I've gotten. So it's all about the charts this time. I have that much done. I have the corner, three corners done. And what yeah. I did is I took the pattern and I made an extra copy of the charts. So then that way, and then I took a marker and I marked off the 10, 10 by 10 grid. And when I finish a grid, I put an X through it. Mm -hmm. So that I know that one's done. I'll move on to the next one. So that is helping me to so not make mistakes and yeah. keep it straight. And so you're three tenths of the way done. <laughs> yeah, I am. This is not. I don't know if I'm a big fan of snap hoops. It's not really holding it as taut as I would like. There's a little give in my my fabric. I'm making it work. The other project I am working on was a little kit. And it is this one, Let It Snow. And so the autonomous one is on 16 count, 8 o'clock. This one is on 14 count, 8 o'clock. And I have two blocks done. So I have those two done. There is a mistake in this block right here. It doesn't affect the overall dimensions of the project. It's just the shading. I messed up on some of the colors with the shading and since they are so close, I fudged it. Yeah. I wasn't going to rip out. I do like the scroll frame much better because it's keeping the fabric nice and taut. Nice and, nice and firm in there. The issue I have is holding with my hand. I can only work on it for a short amount of time before my uh, arthritis and my CMC joint gives out. So I ordered a stand that will hold each of these frames, frames or a hoop so that I can 
count do count across stitch or embroidery hands free. Yeah. Uh, which hopefully will help, and I can get more progress done. But I have discovered that I need to make sure there are no distractions going on around me, or that the house is relatively calm and quiet. Otherwise, mistakes happen, and I don't pull out counted cross stitch mistakes. I just fudge them. No. I know you're not supposed to, but I do. So. Yeah, counter cross stitch is happening. Knitting yeah. is happening. I did a few rows on my crochet blanket, but not enough to show you a big, huge difference. So, yeah, but it is fun. It is fun, and it's been fun to work on. I still have some coasters I want to sew that are Halloween themed, even though we're halfway through October. Yeah. But I'm bad at pulling out the sewing machine. Well, we've been doing a lot of decluttering and cleaning, so the closet, yeah. I mean, I used to have it sitting in the hallway in a uh, covered box, a plastic box for your sewing machine, and now it's in a closet so that it's not yeah. as easily accessible, but it's not sticking out in the way. Um, yeah, we've been trying to garden. Our fall garden is not going very well mm. at all. No, it has Something keeps eating the new things that we plant yeah. in there. Urban wildlife, it exists. Yes, it does. I think the squirrels are getting hungry. Yeah. And just eating whatever they can find. Our chickens are doing well. Uh, mm -hmm. The neighbors may not think so because they don't like the noise. There's not much noise. No, there isn't. Just when they're laying eggs. And we've been getting seven to ten eggs a day. Yeah, you guys have been enjoying the eggs. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, just cleaning and mm -hmm. Rachel's been working. Yeah, and I've been cooking, so we've been getting into the season where we can start having soup. So, we had chili. Oh, we have the best cauliflower soup recipe. Yeah, it's oh, super good. Super, super good. Uh, they have veggie burgers on the side of that. Yes. Can you tell we're a little hungry? Yeah. Or I'm a little hungry. Eating close. She put sweet potatoes in the oven for dinner, so. Yeah, and I made a chickpea curry, so I'm going to have that on top of my sweet potato. Yeah, we had pressure canned chickpeas and black beans. We have mm -hmm. we have to do more because they turned out so good. They really did. We were kind of nervous because it was our first time experimenting with, with that. With a pressure canner. And it worked out really well. They're better than the store cans bought. that you can buy in store-bought. Yeah. You can reuse the glass jar, so yeah. all in all, it's a win. It's been kind of hard, though, to find the lids because everybody's been wanting to can with the pandemic. Yeah. So whenever I can snatch them up, I do. Mm-hmm. Because the lids, you also can't reuse those. Not the actual lid. The ring yeah, you can reuse. The ring you can yeah. reuse, yeah. And we need to make one more batch of habanero jelly. Yes, which I absolutely love, habanero jelly. Yeah. It's always like more sweet. Like each batch we make are a little sweeter, I think, because we're really? not growing as many habaneros. Oh. So we're just making do with the... What we have. With what we have. Yeah. Yeah. So... Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's, so there's not too much else going on. Mm -hmm. We have been watching some movies here and there. Baseball. Baseball. Is Lots of playoff baseball. Thing. I am anxious to watch the final game of the National League tonight between the Dodgers and the Braves. We're actually going to get it on TV this time? It should be on Fox. Okay, and we'll be able so, to get So, hopefully. If not, I will just listen to the commentators and watch the little blips go on the screen. I'll happily watch that, too. Um, that should be a really good... This You get the best baseball in October during playoffs. Yeah. You really, really do. And it's been such a strange year with the it pandemic really and no fans being in the in the stands and But they did let some fans in in Arlington. I don't understand in that. Field. I yeah, don't understand why. Because in Petco Park they're not letting oh, in fans. They didn't let in any fans. No. I mean the commentators that were, and everybody that were still in the bubble. Actually yeah. no, were the commentators watching on screens? They were in the bubble too. Okay, gotcha. They were in the bubble too. But they hired a professional sound system people who worked with Sting and some other bands to do the... Yeah, to simulate the experience and the sound. 
of their home stadiums yeah. so that it was more realistic and it was really good. Mm -hmm. was, I don't know what they were doing in Globe Life Field. I don't know because we couldn't get those because we don't have cable anymore so we couldn't get well, FS1. We, we watched a few of them and then they switched um, what they were broadcasting, what channel yeah. they were broadcasting on and we don't get FS1. Right. Um, so yeah, that's that's been going on. We've been enjoying baseball. It's mm -hmm. been giving us a lot of joy during so this much. weird year, yes. weird time that we're living through. Uh -huh. um, it's important to find the little things in life that make you happy and bring you joy each day. Mm -hmm. Dwell on the good and not all the negative that's going on in our world right now. Yes. So yeah. I do have um, a couple acquisitions. I think I'm going to save them for another time. Okay. So that, because I won't be having many more acquisitions, so I'm going to just kind of spread out what I do have for future times. Okay. And, uh, Sounds yeah. Sounds good. I think that's all we have to talk about. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was focusing on a stitch didn't look quite right on my blanket. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? And then I'm like, oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think that is everything we have. Yeah, it's just kind of um, nice and short and sweet this time, not too yeah. long. Enjoying this period before like everybody starts decorating for Christmas. Yeah. So I feel like right after Halloween people decorate for Christmas. They do. We have a few people down the street that have um, their house decorated for yeah. Halloween. and So we hope you guys have some fun, enjoy the last bit of the spooky season, and we'll see you in two weeks. Stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.